launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, March 14th, 2022. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. How does a brand new clip from your seven time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath sound to get your International Chess Day started off? A few days ago, Phil released this behind the scenes footage from one of his latest training sessions. And as you can see here, the champ doesn't look like he's lost a whole lot of steam in his fastball. Even though Phil's still relatively young, it's interesting to see how he's still keeping himself in relatively good bodybuilding shape early in his retirement. He's definitely not as big as he was a few years ago when he attempted his comeback at the Mr. Olympia contest, but maybe the 80 to 85% of that, which is still pretty damn good. So never count him out. So if any of you out there are over 40 and finding a way to make up all sorts of excuses why you can't train like you used to, here's your blueprint. Because if you were going to follow in anyone's footsteps for something like this, wouldn't someone like Phil be your first choice? Listen, when you're the people's champ, you have a moral obligation to give the people what they want, right? And apparently the people must be demanding more back training clips because Hadi Shupin opened up the floodgates with his content over this past weekend. As usual, one of the baddest men in bodybuilding has been training like an absolute savage. Would you expect anything different? And he looks like he's right on track to do what he said he was going to do at the end of last season, which was to challenge Big Ramy for the Mr. Olympia title this year. If you follow Hottie's training, one of the things that should stand out is how much he relies on using basic heavy compound movements as the core part of his foundation. You don't see him doing all sorts of weird exercises or trying to overcomplicate things like so many people do nowadays. And the results speak for themselves. The man walks around looking like he's carved from stone. And you don't get to be that way without putting in a lot of sweat equity. To all our fans out there in the Midwest, this year's Indie Pro is set to go down on May 14th. So you might want to go ahead and get your tickets now because it looks like that's going to be the spot where our good friend Roman Fritz makes his season debut. After sitting out the better part of the last two years due to COVID restrictions and some pretty serious injuries, Roman's finally ready to jump back into the mix once again, where he'll be looking to finally earn that Olympia qualification that he's been chasing since he entered into the Pro League several years back. Before the injuries and the COVID stuff, Roman had really started to establish himself as one of the more exciting up and coming talents in the open division. So if he can pick back up where he left off, he's got a puncher's chance to bring this thing full circle now and bring it to the Olympia at the end of the year. And before we sign off today, we've got a brand new update from your reigning and defending two time Mr. Olympia champ. That's right. Big Ramy, who looks like he's all about business right now. At this point last year, the big man was admittedly coasting a little bit with his training, but I think last season's result, being a little too close for comfort, was a real kick in the butt because he's been all gas and no breaks throughout the entire offseason. He's training with a hunger and a level of intensity right now that he wasn't showing it at the same point during the 2021 season. So if he can stay dialed in like this from now until December, going to be hard to make a case for anyone else in the lineup being able to stop him for the three-peat. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.